Hello everyone, welcome to another interesting video of Hello Experts. Today's video is going to be more interesting as we are going to talk about the Istanbul Canal project. The Istanbul Canal is a project for an artificial sea level waterway which is planned by the Turkey in East Thrace connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara and thus to the Aegean and the Mediterranean seas. Istanbul Canal would bisect the current European side of Istanbul and thus forms an island between Asia and Europe. The new waterway would bypass the current Bosporus. The canal aims to minimize the shipping traffic in Bosporus. It is projected to have a capacity of 160 vessel transits a day similar to the current volume for traffic through the Bosporus with the traffic congestion leaves ships going for days to transit the strait. Some analysts have speculated that the main reason for construction of the canal is to bypass the Monterix convention which limits the number and tonnage of warships from non-black sea powers that could enter the sea via the Bosporus as well as prohibiting tolls on traffic passing through it. The Istanbul Canal project also includes construction of ports a large container terminal in the Black Sea close to the Istanbul airport, logistic centers and artificial islands to be integrated with the canal as well as the construction of new earthquake resistant residential areas along the channel. The artificial islands are to be built using soil dug for the canal. The project was approved by lawmakers in Ankara in March 2021 and the construction began in June 2021 with the laying of the foundations of a bridge over the planned route. The project has been controversial with the critics warning of its environmental impact and the investment risk. The canal will be 45 kilometers long and will be built to the west of the city and it is an alternative to the Istanbul's Bosporus Strait. The project is estimated to cost $15 billion and the value of the project may reach $25 billion. The Istanbul Canal is being proposed as a solution to several problems associated with the Bosporus Strait which runs through the heart of Istanbul. Some of the problems for which the Istanbul Canal is being built are number 1. Heavy Maritime Traffic the Bosporus Strait is one of the busiest waterways in the world, with over 40,000 vessels passing through it each year. This heavy traffic creates congestion and increases the risk of accidents such as collisions and oil spills. Number 2. Environmental Hazards The heavy maritime traffic in the Bosporus Strait also poses significant environmental hazards. Accidents can lead to oil spills which can have severe and long-lasting effects on the marine ecosystem. Third one is security concerns. The Bosporus Strait is a strategic waterway that connects the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. The heavy traffic passing through it also creates security concerns as it can be difficult to monitor all the vessels passing through. The fourth one is urban planning. The construction of Istanbul Canal would provide an opportunity for urban planning and development in Istanbul. The canal could be used to create new residential and commercial areas as well as improve transportation links in the region. The Istanbul Canal project is expected to bring several benefits to Turkey. The project aims to reduce the large maritime traffic through the Bosporus and minimize the risk and dangers associated particularly with tankers. The canal will reduce traffic on the Bosporus and strengthen Turkey's position in the field of water transportation which will generate significant profits for Turkey estimated to bring in profits of up to $8 billion annually. The canal will also provide quick access and shorten many roads which means there will be an increase in the value of real estate for sale in Istanbul. Additionally, the canal is expected to be eco-friendly, reducing the pollution rate resulting from the current maritime traffic through the Bosporus. The key elements of the proposed Istanbul Canal project include number 1. Route and Location The canal is proposed to run parallel to the Bosporus Strait, connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. The proposed location of the canal is in the northwest of Istanbul between the Black Sea and the Kukuik Sikmes Lake. The second key element is length and width. The canal is expected to be approximately 45 kilometers long with a width of 400 meters 
and a depth of 25 meters. The third key element is locks and bridges. The canal would have multiple locks to regulate water levels and accommodate different types of vessels. It would also have several bridges to provide transportation links across the canal. The fourth key element is environmental protection measures. To mitigate the potential negative impacts on the environment, the project includes plans for the construction of water treatment facilities and the implementation of environmental protection measures. Another key element is funding and finance. The cost of the project is estimated to be in billions of dollars and the funding and financing for the project are still being considered. Some proposals include a public-private partnership with private investors contributing to the financing of the project. According to the recent news articles, the Istanbul Canal project is still in progress. In May 2021, the Turkey's transport minister announced that the project would cost around $15 billion. In the same month, NPR reported that the President Erdogan had given the go-ahead for the project to begin. The project is considered a strategic initiative by the Turkish military and the strategist. A report commissioned by the Turkish Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure predicts that the canal will have a significant number of passages by 2026. However, there are concerns about the environmental impact of the project and it is expected to displace thousands of people. Environmental concerns surrounding the Istanbul Canal project include the potential destruction of local water supplies and the regional ecosystem when the canal connects the Sea of Marmara and the Black Sea. The project has been criticized by environmentalists who warned of wider environmental consequences in the region's delicate balance. A study has suggested that the project needs an environmental study to analyze its compatibility with the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement. Financing the project might improve impossible due to the environmental concerns and the investment risk hanging over it. Despite these concerns, the project is still considered a strategic initiative by the Turkish military and strategists.